I can't get you off the hook if you keep interfering, all right? a friendly talk. Yesterday's session worked. Of course. Now, what were you and Maggie talking about? I can't remember. I'll Good. try. It's very important to remember. Roger, can't you leave well enough alone? Katie? What were you and Maggie talking about? Dave. That's it. Dave. Good. There was something else. Something very disturbing. See what you've done. No, 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 no. Katie, there was nothing disturbing about your talk with Maggie. Something was wrong. Oh, no, no. Nothing was wrong, except that you can't remember. But when you do, you'll remember that you and Maggie came to a new understanding. You both want the same thing for Dave. Just remembering how she felt about it. Dave! Stop her, Roger! What on earth is going on here? Jeff! Where are you? Thank God you're safe. Where were you? Went to that punk club looking for Ryan. And they said she left with some tough looking guy. Is that you? was down there doing some undercover work when I saw Ryan getting into it a little bit over her head. How did you get out of there alive? Well, let's just say that the natives down there definitely discriminate against people who uh, don't have purple hair. Did you see DJ? No, young lady, I did not. I was too busy running around worried sick looking for you. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure that DJ would be okay. You let the police handle this. Dad, I just think... Ryan, I do not... I want you going into that place. I want you to stay out of this whole mess until this case is settled. You understand? Now, get out of that ridiculous get-up. Okay. I'm going to go down to the precinct and inform my brother about all this. These guys aren't messing around. Well, two can play that game. Listen, why don't you take some of your own advice and stay out of this? Sure, Rick. The cops will do a hell of a job. Jack. I mean it. So do I. Dad? You're not really gonna stay out of it, are you? Are you? Jack Finelli has stuck his nose in too far. I say we cut it off for good. Reggie, you're beginning to sound like a broken record. He's on to us, boss. He could blow this whole operation wide open. Jack Finelli never lets go. He's like a dog. Let him die like one. No violence. Not this time. How are we going to take him off, Serge? Gentlemen. I didn't hear that. That's right. You play the lawyer. But your hands aren't so clean. Mr. Leland, there's no law against someone meeting with an unfortunate accident. No. None whatsoever. Ah. Poor Mr. Penelope. He's so accident-prone. 